Okay, this screencast is looking at the process of making confirmations for multiple students. A confirmation is a confirmed assessment against a specific curriculum standard and we would do this after we have gathered sufficient evidence to acknowledge that a child is working at a particular curriculum standard. So to do that within Alternet we need to click on the global navigation bar on the learning tasks icon and that will open for us another window or perhaps another tab and take us into the learning tasks component within Alternet. The landing screen for learning tasks looks like this. If we move to the top of the screen we can see that there are three tabs at the top. The class tab is open by default. The next one along is the monitor tab and that's the tab that we need to go to for monitoring student progress and creating confirmations. So once we've clicked on that tab we need to select the class button which is just here and choose the class from our drop down list of classes that we would like to make the confirmations for. Now by default the VELS curriculum appears in the left hand pane of the screen but it may be that you would be choosing to use one of the other curriculums like towards level one of VELS or perhaps VELS ESL for your confirmation so you would select that if that was the case. So choosing um, the level that we would like to make our confirmations about we then scroll down to the subject that we're looking for in this case English and I'll click on the little plus button and it will bring up the three dimensions of English there. So I'm going to make a confirmation today about writing so I'll click on that one and when that's grey I can then take my cursor up to the confirmation button in the toolbar at the top with the rubber stamp and click on that button. This can, tells us that we are making confirmations for English writing and to get started we choose a student in the drop down list. So I'll start with the first student and choose them. There's already been one confirmation made for this student so I'm about to confirm another one so I click on this little button or icon here that makes a new confirmation and I'm given the um, proficiency levels within VELS so I would choose the one that I want if I'm not sure I can confirm by opening with the plus next to the standard that I think I would like to do and it will give me the um, progression points for that standard so if, if that's what I want to do then I uh, put a tick in the box and then I need to scroll down to the OK button and click that and I will have added that confirmation into that that student's page. Now that's all I need to do to make a confirmation. I could if I had made a mistake delete that confirmation or I could edit that confirmation and if I click the edit button it brings back that screen that we saw before. So if everything's alright, I would then choose from the drop-down list the next student and repeat that process. So I click on the new confirmation button, choose the level, scroll down, click OK and that confirmation will then appear on her page. Drop-down list, choose the next student, carry on the process. Click the add button choose the proficiency level. Now we can add comments in the comment box down here if, if we would like. So there's a, a small comments box to add some comments about the student before we would click OK and those comments would appear in the space down here. So that's the process for creating multiple student confirmations. Quite easy. Next in the list, add, choose the level, and OK. So once we've done that for the um, whole class or for the group of students we want to make confirmations for, we would click on the back button and we would get an overview of the confirmations that we've made. So if I click on the English again, I can start to see that I've made confirmations for students here. Here are two students in my classroom working at level two. I have this one child working at level 2.25. Now that's showing me an overview of the number of students working at each level. But if I wanted to have an overview of the students, 
and click on this uh, drop down list up here, go to overview. And then I see that the students' names have appeared at the top of the screen. Once again, when I click on English, I can then see the actual level. So Becky Armstrong here at 2.5, Kate at, at 2.0. So that's the process for making confirmations.